Here are three more logic gates which can help us to uh, process digital signals to make decisions in logic circuits. The star of this flashcard has to be this first logic gate because this one is incorporated into the other two gates. So let's take a look at these three. So the first one is called a NOT gate. A NOT gate or an inverter. And its job is to invert the input signal into its opposite signal. So if we put a zero, a, a low voltage state in the input, then we will get a high voltage state on the output. So it just inverts it and vice versa. If our input is a logic one, a high voltage state, then we'll get a low voltage state on the output. So that's pretty straightforward. Now we go on to what looks like an AND gate which we've met in the previous flashcard, but with a little dot on the end there, which looks very similar to the dot used in an inverter. So this is actually an AND gate plus a NOT gate together. And you could think of this as, there's an AND gate and then we tack on a NOT gate. So whatever comes out of the AND gate, we just flip the signal to its opposite. So let's go through the truth table to see if we can work out what happens. If input A and input B are both zero, the AND gate in our previous flashcard would have given us a logic zero output. But because there's a NOT gate on the end here, the, the zero and zero, which gives us a zero, goes to a one. So we get a one, a logic one or a high state output. What happens if B is on, but A is off? Well, normally the AND gate would give us an off, a zero, but because of the NOT gate, it switches to a one. That's the same case when we've got a, a one on the A and a zero on the B. The AND would give us a logic zero usually, but because of the NOT gate, it flips to one. And finally, if both A and B are on, the AND gate would give us a logic one output, but the NOT gate would flip it to a logic zero. So that is called a NAND gate or a not and. This guy here looks a bit like an OR gate, but again it's got that inverter on the end, a NOT gate tacked on the end. So whatever the output of this will be, will be the opposite of an OR gate. So we can say it's a, an OR plus a NOT gate. And if we were to draw a little schematic of what's going on here, it will be looking a bit like this. And this first situation, if we have a zero and a zero, then the OR gate would usually give us a zero output. Because remember, it's one or the other will give us an output. And here there are neither. But because of that NOT gate, it flips to a one. So we get a one output there. Usually the OR gate will give us a logic one, an ON signal, when one of these is on or both of them are on. But because of that NOT gate, they flip back to zero. So this is called a NOR gate. So if you have to work out how the NAND and the NOR work, just consider how an AND gate works and how an OR gate works, as we've seen in the previous flashcard, and just flip the output signal to the opposite logic state.